it's Luke Kreuter's back with another episode for you at the channel in a completely random location that you've never seen before. Whoa. 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 Ah. Actually, it's actually like local, but look at the sun setting out there across Devon. And it's been a while since we've had a catch up really at Luke Cry. So we're doing a catch up now. And most importantly, the experience that Luke Cry's went through and had an absolute lot of, load of fun and learned quite a bit, learned quite a lot with Terry at the Advanced Motorcyclist, the Advanced Bikers at Institute of Advanced Motorists. Excellent! And being introduced and meeting a biker like that to that level, an elite part of society like that. So let's get on with it, have some fun while making this motor vlog, and hit the road here at the Luke Rides. Let's go! <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> Everybody at Luke Rides, Luke Rides is back! <laughs> Luke Rides does love saying that. He does love saying, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'll be back. Ha! You did not gonna say that, did you? That's what you always say. I do? I'm back. Oh, it's not sticker. I'm back. <laughs> We're going back to the 80s. Reminiscing about the 80s and how things used to be. Well, it's good to motor vlog again, everybody, on, on what is a, a sexual, sensual, and yummy BMW Classic Superbike that's not even in production anymore, technically, not even in production. Oh, I just did a roll on neutral. Oh, the Christ is good. He just did a roll on neutral. Woo! Ah, so what? So we, we, just for fun, uh, Luke quite love to talk you through um, the experience of what it was like getting to meet and actually spend that time with Terry at the Devon Advanced Motorcyclist because it was great. It was so much fun, and we actually, actually, Luke Christ just learned a lot of little, little techniques, uh, little techniques and how to change his riding style and the little 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 changes that Luke Rides can make from positioning, observation, participation, thinking about what stresses there, what it is about driving sympathetically to the mechanics of the BMW, um, better positioning on various different bits of road. Oh, should we have a boom boom? <laughs> Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> Got a little bit of a boom boom. And also how when how you participate, and how you anticipate, and what little things you can do with general positioning, where you are, how can you maneuver speed, or the ISCA, the system of information, position, speed, gear, acceleration. <coughs> Now how you take that system and then how you use it thank you and how you use it also about the very uh, how you things that you look for as an advanced motorcyclist to make sure your vehicle is maintained correctly looking for suspension petrol oil rubber also how you manhandle your motorcycle general riding how does Luke Rides ride? And the Devon Advanced Motorcyclist actually getting to know Luke Rides far better, getting to know Luke Rides a lot better in how he behaves, how he participates, so anticipates. So we're gonna do a life shoulder check and what we're doing is we're looking for like little things like that, a fucking van pushing on, as Luke Rides just saw, the van pushing on just like that. It was a bit, a bit unnerving because that van definitely felt very, very close. But because I could see what the van was doing, what Luke Christ did was he actually accelerated a bit more to get away from the danger. And that is just the little things that you do as an advanced motorcyclist. So we're now technically at 60. Uh, do we have a central reservation? Yes. I assume she does, otherwise. Let's go! Woo! 
our classic BMW Super Duper bike. We are accelerating on a classic BMW Super Super Duper bike. Woo! Oh, oh my god, so much fun, so much fun. We ride in motorcycles and actually using a motorcycle for work and actually riding for work on the motorcycle. Yay! Yeah! How you also look at the, the dangers, how you can put a 50-50 gap, which is like an invisible invisible gap that you, you put in your head and you, you imagine it. And what you're doing is you're giving yourself the safety net. So you're looking for, if that BMW behind me panicked, tried to swerve into my lane, where can I go? Where can I be? Can I get through the cake that extra gap I've given myself on the right hand side to accelerate out of the danger little things like that and you, you kind of what you do is the more you do it is the more you just do it you don't think about it it just starts becoming automatic it just starts becoming like you're going to do it and again watching for outcoming traffic as well but it looks like we're getting back into some filtering as well so hello there low speed maneuvers or was it low 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 speed riding so we're going to show some low speed riding skills here here at the Lukey rides where it's about maintaining maintaining your speed keeping your feet up off the pegs keeping control showing that element of you are in control not juddering movements and balancing the rear brake balancing the rear brake balancing not use the front brake not use the front brake use the rear rear brake and you're just doing that because it helps you maintain that balance that you are uh, looking for so that is um, something really important to think about and uh, Terry actually Terry actually turned up on a uh, Africa twin uh, which is a actually beast a proper off-road beast mud plugging wheel drifting in the mud just an absolute behemoth um, off-road really really talky lots of talk lots of power and uh, what was nice was to see is that it she was in Africa colors so she's actually in Africa Africa twin colors so that was nice to see rather than just something like white or black it actually and the gold wheels as well and uh, Luke cried kind of in a funny way he didn't actually expect uh, he wasn't kind of expecting that he was kind of expecting more like a uh, like a GS or a Kawasaki 1300 tour uh, more you know more more road road going tour uh, um, is what Luke Rides was kind of expecting was gonna he was gonna find there and uh, Terry was really good he was nice and friendly um, he let me ask questions he took his time uh, he didn't rush Luke Rides he actually just enjoyed being with Luke Rides and uh, just going through the I am book and talking about different different parts of it getting into the ISCA system which we advanced bikers we elite bikers use because it's a system that we use to analyze anticipate and look at what could go wrong as you ride and how you can how you can use the system to reduce it and stop yourself getting into trouble keep yourself safe on the road it's a system that we use so that we take every single thing into account position gearing acceleration and use that to make our riding safer and our riding more consistent and smoother and better anticipation in using that system to get those results uh, it was a blast Luke Rice had so much fun it was absolutely brilliant it was a really fun uh, really fun ride we had, and Terry as well enjoyed seeing the Z1000SX Luke Rides Z1000SX a mighty in line 4 and uh, there were times where his little where the Africa twin would yeah struggle it had no chads once the Z opened up our power and torque the Africa Twin was not able to even try and keep up in the corners because of that, uh, that off-road and, and the fact that the Africa Twin is not an inline four. So you just actually accelerate like the Starship Enterprise and then you're gone. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, so we had a lot of fun there. That was, that was really good. That was a lot of fun. And what was nice is we actually started from Exeter Services. So again, your mirror checks 
checking your speed, checking what's behind you, how fast should you de-accelerate, how close is the car behind you, because that also tells you how you can safely bring yourself down to the speed limit in a safe way, because you may look at your mirrors and go, oh, that, that old car is really behind me, I might want to just dab a little rear brake and just, instead of just jerking off the throttle, just going, oh, throttle off, you just gradually let the throttle down, and what you're doing is you're managing the traffic behind you and that is just an advanced skill that other bikers don't think about but they don't think about that because you don't want to be rammed in the ass by a little Vauxhall or any car, supercar, other biker, you know, a biker behind you, a van, a truck you don't want to be hit by them so that was excellent and we went from actually uh, moto services and and Terry was great he just took his time he just said that we're gonna try and we're just gonna try and attack these roads it's just gonna go through these roads in a certain way that I've talked about and I just want to see how you get on with it and uh, just do it you know just just do it just do it have fun while doing it and what was great was not only that but Terry also showed a lot of care and a lot of care about Luke Rides about Luke Rides as a biker so Terry would use his motorcycle to help keep the traffic back if I felt nervous and uh, that was nice because it just made you feel really comfortable really comfortable <laughs> yeah baby <laughs> ah, really comfortable because in the last so you got into your biking rhythm you know, and you just you're just comfortable, and you just ride, you're just riding a motorcycle naturally. You won't feel like you're being judged, and uh, little things like that can go a long way. They can go a long way. It makes the experience fun, and also it lets you helps you concentrate. It helps you concentrate as well. That is what it is about. And uh, what was great was after we actually left uh, Moto Services, as Terry wanted to take Luke rides into the country lane so we got like lots of lovely sweeping corners like this but slower and faster right in the breaths of Dartmoor so you got to see all the actual beauty the team valley and also some right pretty roads and some beautiful corners where the Z1000SX just loved it it just loved being there and riding those roads it had such a good time and so did Luke Rides uh, Luke Rides commends, you know, Terry, really commends you, Terry, for being a awesome teacher and being so gentle and just easing Luke Rides into this elite part, into our elite part of society, into the advanced bikers, uh, advanced riders, and uh, becoming a part of it. And it just feels like, it feels like an honour here at Luke Rides to be a part of something special, to be a part of something unique. Uh, and different and also about biking you know that's the that's the main thing about biking which Luke Rides loves he spends a lot of time uh, with biking he spends a lot of time on his BMW he spends a lot of time being on the road and being in a petrol head enjoying massive engines you know massive engines lots of torque lots of power uh, having fun with that power and doing things with that power and that was great and uh, Terry had a lot of compliments he said a lot of good good nice things about the mighty Z1000 SX uh, so that was great and he enjoyed it he actually said that he actually for a first time Luke cried actually you did do a lot of things you did do a lot of manoeuvres positioning and observations you actually did quite a few of them well and I didn't even need to say anything uh, Terry was like oh that's really good so he could see that Luke rides actually he's actually pretty suited to this sort of advanced riding that actually he's got potential that actually he would be good joining the group and uh, that was great and Terry was so kind easy to work with and also pick the right spots for us just to do a little pullover and talk about some of the things we found when we had uh, other bikers we actually had a group of bikers and, and powerful machines one of them was actually a Ducati Diavel again checking mirrors appropriating speed and um, they decided to, to overtake us on a long straight in the country road 
when oncoming traffic happened and just all sorts of stupid shit and it was just like wow there was no need to overtake like that and in the panic of the two the two bikers and this this group that get that catched up with us was that the first group of the bikers the first group of the uh, of the bikers uh, decided to just blast on ahead just blast on ahead and leave their little friend behind to try and make some progress and then what happened was the little friend then panicked and went I don't want to lose my friends you know I want to keep up with them so he made a risky maneuver and he made the risky maneuvre into a fucking oncoming disco- discovery and then flashed his lights because it was it was proper to do a lot of things could have gone wrong there and uh, we saw that 60% of the time it works every time um, and it was great Harry would ask how do you think you did and you know that was the main thing he didn't just say well you did this blah 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 you go oh okay yeah you just kind of you know you go okay to it because he's telling you the answers what you're doing is just making you go do you know what have a little think about it do you think there's some bits no i could do better there actually some bits yeah i did pretty good there and he's not judging you now that's the thing terry's not judging you he's not judging you on oh yeah i did this brilliant oh yeah yeah he's judging on your honesty and that you're not you're not boastering you're just honestly telling what you thought you did and just telling the truth you know you're just being honest you're not showboating it's just you're just being honest about it so terry really liked that and that was just absolutely epic so that was great and yeah we, we were out there for a good three hours uh three hours of uh, of riding through breaths and beauty and twisties and lovely corners and just everything sensual about Dartmoor and all the good things it's just as if God if God made a playground he definitely made Dartmoor and he was pretty proud of his creation that Luke Rides put it that way that Luke Rides put it that way Kusunela. so that's how it all, all went and Luke Wright is really happy. He's actually doesn't even need to think about it. He is going to do this. He's now going to go on to the IAM Institute of Advanced Motorcyclists, and we're going to start this whole journey. We're going to get into the club. We're going to become a part of the club. Luke Wright is going to become a part of the Devon Advanced Motorcyclists, the Advanced Motorcyclists, and add himself to it and enjoy learning and bettering himself. That's what matters bettering yourself bettering becoming more okay again check your mirrors see what's behind you you might need to slam on your brakes so you've got to make a judgment call of is it safe to do that should i just push on or uh or whatever you think is best really oh uh, great stuff great stuff you see in a lot great stuff you see in a lot we're making pretty good progress as well so that's great Using your mirrors to gather information about what's happening around you. Using that information is critical, is important. You should use that information. And so far, so far we're doing really good. Really enjoyed and it was worthwhile that time, that effort and spending time with Terry at the Devon Advance Motorcyclists and all of you, everybody, you should all have that same opportunity. If you would like to better yourself as a biker, then do it. Please do it. Just join, join the group. Give it a test. Give it a go. Ask for a teaser, a teaser, a taste a ride from your local advanced motorcyclist. Ask them for that and they will show you what advanced motorcycling is about in a very lovely happy really fun way you just go do you know what i love this i'm gonna do it i'm not even gonna think about it i'm just gonna do it and that that is a nice place to be well Luke Christ nearly to where he needs to be his job so he's gonna make some progress he's gonna crack on with that job absolute ace it again we're keeping the momentum we're trying not uh, uh not to not to stop if we can 
And yeah, Luke Rides is, is so glad that he has been uh, given and had that experience at the cost, if you think about it, everybody, um, at the cost of the Devon Advance motorcyclists at the end of the day, at the cost of the group, you know? I mean, you got to think about it, fuel for Terry, food, uh, coffees as well, all those little things. All those little things cost money, and yet, that was great, or that yet, the Devon Advance motorcyclist didn't ask for any of that money back and that is just going above and beyond doing really good things not only for the group but doing good things bringing in the new recruits and showing them that actually you should join our group and actually it is a friendly fun fun group that we all love two wheels and we all love motorcycling we all love biking he's right do you know that and that we, that you can become a part of that, and you should become a part of that. But, and that's the main thing, just put in the effort, be controlled, control your riding, and learn. Do not close off your mind thinking that you know everything. No, no, just enjoy being with a group like this, and being with the club, and being a part of it. That's what matters. That's what matters, Kisinilla. Well, time to end this epic, action-packed motor vlog. Well, what? Well, consider it action-packed. <laughs> well, you know, Luke Kreitz might consider it action-packed. Did you think about that, eh? <laughs> Alrighty, let's complete and have fun and crack on with the job at hand. Brilliant. Well, Luke Kreitz hopes you all had a fun with that little motor vlog in a funny way. It kind of feels like we haven't really done a lot of motor vlogging here uh, recently. But then it's been British Superbikes and BSB, which kind of does take over. You know, it does take precedent over motor vlogging. So uh, Luke Rides is re a really happy, beautiful BMW Classic Superbike sitting out there in the seafront as you do. And uh, what an experience it was with the Terry. And he, he was good in the way he took his time, the way he just gently introduced certain things that as a normal bike you don't really think about. But actually when you think about it and you put it into practice, what you get is a better ride. What you get is a, you are a safer rider. You are not able to deal. You're, you're more ready. You're, you're fired up to deal whatever hazards that might come your way. And it's a skill. It's like with anything. As time goes on, the more you do it, the more it just becomes <laughs> natural. You don't think about it, you just do it automatically. And that is what the advanced bikers, in a way, that's what they do. You know, they've learned all this experience and the history and, and learning. We work to better ourselves and the rest of humanity. So they just do it automatically, but we don't as normal bikers because we get so comfortable with the way we ride. We don't think about bettering ourselves. We just think we're not we're pretty good. Well, actually, we can actually be pretty shit and pretty rubbish at riding motorcycles. Once you're with the elite part of society, like the the, the definite advanced motorcyclists and the advanced motorcyclists in general, elite rare part of the biking world. But thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you on the next episode of Luke Rides. And what an adventure here at the Lukey Rides! Do you like Lukey Rides, yeah? <laughs> Do you like Deutsche? Yeah? Oh! <laughs> Alright, so let's get cracking and get to the next Moto Vlog. The way we. The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. It's the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Uh, thank you, kid.
those bloody days here at Luke Croyd. You've got bloody waves of traffic. We're now stuck in it. Isn't, isn't that just a bloody ball? A bloody ball here at Luke Croyd. Oh, the behind the scenes stuff. Sometimes the behind the scenes stuff just gets very, very boring. Very, very boring. Because in a loud. Woo! Ha ha! Woo! Oh, yeah. Let's keep, let's keep on going. There's still more vlogging to do here at Luke Wright. Woo! 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 Woo!